If you've never in your life said the word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, <laughs> then you may want to start brushing up. Variety is reporting that Disney Studios is developing a Mary Poppins sequel to be helmed by Oscar-nominated director Rob Marshall. According to the report, the sequel would take place some 20 years after the original film, but there is no word if the film will be based on any of the Mary Poppins books or completely be original. Marshall has recently directed such films as Into the Woods and Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. John, are you excited for a new Mary Poppins movie? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I feel so strange about it. Okay, first of all, on one hand, yes, it's Mary Poppins. Of course, like I want to go back to Mary Poppins. I'd love to see more Mary Poppins. On the other hand, there is no other Julie Andrews on this planet. There hasn't been, since she was in her heyday, there remains only one Julie Andrews, and nobody else has ever come along that can even remotely come close to Julie Andrews. So there's a part of me, look, I'm not even worried about the, oh, they're just going to ruin it. See, I don't care about it. Yeah, take a shot at doing another one. I love it. But the one thing that gives me a little bit of apprehension is you cannot escape this. Mm. Whoever you put in this role is going to be immediately compared to Julie Andrews. So... Good luck. I mean, but if they can, if they can get somebody that can come in and just bring that magic that Julie Andrews brought for so many years and that so many of us grown up knowing Mary Poppins as Julie Andrews, if you can find somebody who comes close to that, then this could be something really special. I also think Rob Marshall is the guy to do sure. something. If you're going to do one of these and you ask me to name three directors who could possibly do it, Marshall would have been one of those three directors who could be right for this. He handles musicals great. He got an Academy Award nomination for Chicago, mm -hmm. which I think won Best Picture, if I'm not mistaken. I think Chicago won, won some Best Picture. Yeah, yeah under his direction. So I want to be excited about it, but this whole Julie Andrews situation just... Makes me recoil a little bit. What do you think, Mark? And also the timeline, because it takes place 20 years after the original Mary Poppins is what they said. So that's set in stone. But it's like, so, okay, so it's an older Mary Poppins, or is it a different... Or does she not age? It, or does she, is she magical and she doesn't age? We all know Mary Poppins, with all apologies to Elizabeth Shue in 1987, Mary Poppins is the hottest babysitter to ever walk the face <laughs> of the earth, or above the clouds, as in her case. I, of course, I was a kid, I fell in love with the original Mary Poppins. Yeah. I actually had the honor of being at the comedy store on stage. Dick Van Dyke was in <gasps> the crowd. Ooh, really? That's so week. awesome. That's yeah, awesome. I got to entertain Dick Van Dyke for 15 minutes and tell a bunch of poop jokes in front of him. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. So this is something that is exciting to me because I think kids deserve to get a new Mary Poppins telling. I don't think that it's going to damage the lore of the original one. I really don't. Plus, it's a sequel. You're not going back and doing like a Maleficent where it's like, oh, let's let's change that history a little bit. It sounds like you're just adding on to the mythology as opposed to changing it for live action, which Mary Poppins already was. Yep. Yeah, I don't know about it. I mean, I agree with you. But Rob Marshall is definitely an incredible director for musicals. Um, but Mary Poppins, it's sort of, I mean, look at what they did with Annie and that's not even on the same hmm. level. Hmm. Great point. Mary Poppins. I mean, unless, if they're doing a reboot, uh, you know, I mean, I just say uh, this is one of those for me that it'd be like, why the original is such a masterpiece. I think, well, they're not rebooting. It's a sequel. See, then the sequel thing, it's like, they don't have those guys who wrote the original Mary Poppins songs. So those guys, unless those guys are coming back and dusting off, like, all right, we're going to do some brand new songs. I don't know. It just sounds weird. It just, I can't, I can't get behind it. So I guess it's supposed to be set in like 1930s. I think the original was set in like 1910. Yeah. So if the timeline is right, this is going to be 1930 England. I, I just, I, like I said, I still think this can be something that works, but man, I, I can't think of a property where one performer in that property so embodies what that property yeah. is as much as Julie Andrews and Mary Poppins. Oh yeah. But I'll say this too. This reminds me of the Oscars last year. Because remember they had Lady Gaga come out at the Oscars to sing what which one was it that she sang was Sound it the Hills of music or, was yeah. it yeah it was the That's Hills right. are alive and I remember oh come on Lady Gaga is gonna sing what the what she and crushed she it crushed that that so hey maybe maybe Julie Andrews can just sprinkle a little bit of her magic on some maybe Rachel McAdams you heard it here <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> the, yeah. you know what let's get a good Canadian band to do the music Nickelback will be oh, doing the new Rush. music oh wait Rush will be doing dime the music. piece let's get dime piece to record <laughs> everything piece. they're incredible ladies and gentlemen.